Beyond Catches, this is Samo for Gelga Radio, and I have a very special guest that I've been teasing the entire show. Uh, should I call you Donald Glover or Childish Gambino right now? Call me Donald. This is Donald. I'm Donald. So the follow-up to that is, where is Childish Gambino and what <laughs> happened to him? <laughs> uh... But I like endings, and I think they're important to progress. I think, like, if a lot of things had, like, death clauses in them, we wouldn't have a lot of problems <laughs> in the world, <laughs> to be honest, you know? So uh, I, I think endings are good because they force uh, things to get better. So, uh, yeah. And then, just like that, Donald Glover's alter ego, Childish Gambino, disappeared. Glover would join in on the Gambino's disappearance and not take on many projects over the next two years. His last appearance on the big screen was his portrayal of Simba in Disney's live-action remake of The Lion King. Fans of Glover were confused and worried that the star would not return to continue his music career or finish the critically acclaimed TV show he wrote and produced, Atlanta. Then, four years after Atlanta Season 2 originally premiered, Atlanta Season 3 would be released. I've been roaming the streets since last night. I since twilight. This city is my Jesus. A return for Glover and a shock to his fans, Season 3, which was critically acclaimed for taking the Atlanta crew outside of the city into Europe, would soon be followed up by the fourth and final season less than six months later. The show would end and Glover started to take on more roles in That's film and television. Anything, Han. That's Han. With the revival of Glover's career after a three-year hiatus, his fans began to wonder if they would be treated with another Gambino record or song. And Glover heard these requests. So in July of 2023, Glover came out and announced that he would be creating a creative studio for like-minded individuals. Gilga is just a, you know, it's a place to grow trust. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, the, that's the easiest way to define it to me, I feel like. He made a call to everyone to submit an application to work for him. Gilga, although promising, hadn't really produced anything to show for itself. Glover was shown in interviews to be frustrated with the status quo of media and audience retention. How do you make people care about anything anymore? There's just so much shit. It seems that all these things combined to have Glover revive his music alter ego and perform at Coachella with Tyler the Creator. A few days later, he would post on his Instagram Live a video talking about his new radio station, Gilga Radio. And over the course of the radio show, Gambino would resurface a few times and drop songs like Say Less with Kanye West and a snippet of a song with Kid Cudi called Warlords. Glover would go on to confirm on the radio show that Gambino would be coming back to drop two more albums, a remaster of his last album, 31520, which would now be called Atavista, and his last true album under the Gambino moniker, a tie-in album that is meant to be the soundtrack for an upcoming film that he is working on. And finally, after almost five years between albums, Gambino has come back to finish off what he started. It'll be interesting to see how these last two projects will be received and how Glover gives his alter ego a proper send-off. You know, so Childish Gambino, he he worked on this last project, and then, yeah, and then I think he just walked, he just walked into the ocean and just never... You look lonely. I can fix that. 